Alright, so in this video we're going to talk a little bit more about fluid kinematics. We'll be talking about volumetric dilation rate and vorticity and a little bit more on irrotational um, flows. So let's just jump into it. The very first definition we're going to define is um, an irrotational flow. An irrotational flow. Okay, an irrotational flow. All this means, um, just by looking at the word irrotational, it's not rotating. Nothing's rotating within this uh, flow field. And all that means is that there's zero angular acceleration. <clears throat> okay, irrotational flow is zero angular acceleration. The second term is a uh, vorticity vorticity okay and all vorticity is um, we've seen we've seen this before in a previous video it's all it is is just the del vector crossed with the velocity field so del cross v so whatever number that equals is the vorticity okay and think of vorticity as um, spinning fluid. So, uh, you know, when you you uh, fill up your sink, your kitchen sink of with water, and then you let it, you unplug it, and you let it drain, and you see around the drain hole that the water looks like this. All right, you you've all seen that before, or in a bathtub, or even in a toilet. You, when you flush a toilet, you see this. Okay. Uh, the second term, or the third term, would be spin vector. Spin vector. Okay, spin vector. Spin vector is usually denoted um, omega spin. Okay, and it's, it's a vector. And it's denoted omega, lowercase omega, spin. And all the spin vector is, is just one half of the vorticity okay and that's just one half of the del cross v that's all the spin vector is so now we we know three terms irrotational flow vorticity and spin vector okay now irrotational flow means zero uh, zero spin so when when the vorticity is equal to zero when del cross v is equal to zero let me just draw a line here when del cross v is equal to zero that implies that the fluid is not spinning like this there's there's no vorticity so that that's that's irrotational flow let me just put that up here when del cross v is equal to zero okay that that's irrotational flow when the vorticity is equal to zero if a flow is irrotational or when del cross v is equal to zero it also implies that the spin vector is zero why because the spin vector depends on vorticity it's one half times vorticity and if vorticity is equal to zero well one half times zero is zero the spin vector is zero if the vorticity is zero okay uh, last last uh, definition would be dilation rate okay and we've seen this too before dilation rate is just del dot v so whatever number this equals when you dot del with the velocity field that number is going to be your dilation rate okay and we know that if 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 del dot v is equal to zero then the fluid is ir or incompressible Incom it's an incompressible fluid it's an incompressible flow um, 
lastly, I want to look at uh, vorticity a little bit more. I found a pretty good definition online. I'm sure you can just search up vorticity and you'll, you'll find the same exact thing. But what they did was, um, well, let, let, let's think of a flow field. Let's think of a flow field. And if we dropped, let's say, a little piece of paper, okay, and it went from here to here, okay, well, that would be irritational flow, right? Because the piece of paper is traveling along the same path as the river or creek or, or whatever this flow field is. It's just in one direction. That's irritational flow. So irritational flow, here, here was their little diagram. Irritational flow is when we look at this little element we put into the water and it moves from one to two without spinning. Now, if we dropped another piece of element or a piece of paper and it moved and it rotated, right, it, it, it rotated, that would be um, uh, that would be an example of vorticity, a spinning a spinning flow field like a toilet. So vorticity is, is basically spinning, it's, it's turning, it has angular rotation. So uh, uh, now you can actually seem very sophisticated when you talk about your toilet flushing. <laughs> and a couple more things to point out for a 2D flow field, for a two-dimensional flow field, we know that vorticity is del cross V, so it's a cross product. So if you were to cross those two elements, you know that the resulting vector would actually be out of the paper, right? It's a cross product. It's coming out of the paper. And so it would be perpendicular to the plane of the flow field. And vorticity is sometimes also referred to as the curl. The curl of the velocity field. Yes, field. Oops. The curl of the velocity field. Okay. So in the next couple of videos, we'll just do some examples involving these three definitions, oh, four definitions. Irrotational flow, when the angular acceleration, or did I do acceleration? I'm sorry, this should be, this should not be acceleration, this should be rotation. Okay, when the, when the angular rotation is equal to zero. And vorticity is just del cross V, whatever number that is, that's the vorticity. And the spin vector is, um, is just one half of the vorticity, right? It's just one half of del cross v. And dilation rate is just, it's, it's just, here is a cross product, here is a dot product. So whatever number this is, is the dilation rate. And we know that if we dot the del, um, and dot it with v, the, the velocity field, and if that's equal to zero, we know that the fluid is incompressible, okay?